Okay, a bit earlier I was doing, I recorded this video, and that's video I'm uploading right now. Yeah, it's just gonna be part one of two. And so it's titled The So Called Cancer of Mine is Foremost Buckingham Palace Candida Lunacy in Support to Moscow Belgrade. That's exactly what it is. That's precisely what it is. It's going to be part one. That's the one I'm uploading it right now. And um, right now I'm recording part number two. You are viewing. Yeah, I'm gonna pop one right here below as soon as I complete this video I suppose and I get this uploaded it's quite large 1.4 gigabytes but I don't know how much you remember there was a phone a little earlier that would go off and it wouldn't stop it wouldn't stop it would just go crazy 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 you remember and I went to the restroom if you watch this video here you're gonna see exactly what I stated to you right now and the idea of that stuff just as I was promised it's gonna be it's gonna be we're gonna get you and it's the most important part so the room is gonna look dirty and this and that that is why I mentioned on this video that I didn't want to go into details it's too much conspiracy for one video uh, and I don't like conspiracies except that this conspiracy is real but I don't like to add too much I don't like to be heavy about absolutely anything I do now they did told me under MK Ultra they will do something like this if the room is going to be dirty and this and that. And that's why, that's exactly why I did not go uh, and record over. Now, how is with this room here, in case somebody wants to know? This is a small room. I live a mo very modest life here. Modest to degree even that I was taught at administration unit in Novomaster, which I visited the other day, they would destroy me the car. They also took responsibility for it. Now you're talking about already the city administration unit, city of Novomaster administrative unit. They would destroy me car. The police would destroy me car if I would not get replacement for the glasses. My sight had been severely, severely affected because I deliberately to decline to replace these glasses with other set of glasses. The reason behind this stuff is that I already have explained briefly I'm going to say to you you see this soft uh, it's like a little sponges are missing here um it's where the glasses sit in the nose i don't know how you would professionally refer to this part of glasses but they have done this to me as a second pair of glasses if you remember the glasses i had before the glasses were completely 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 destroyed with something they pour something on the glasses and it aided the glasses to the degree that i couldn't see on those glasses and those are the circumstances I had to work under when in Poland if you remember it was very difficult because it required somewhat precision with eyes and dangerous job because I operated forklifters without basically with 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 a very heavy vision problems and with completely impaired glasses and for things to get even worse the original prescription of the glasses which i received upon medical examination eventually was replaced the glasses therefore they were made also according to prescription were replaced with the glasses 
not they were replaced, but the original, um, when I got glasses in, I don't know what year was it, I don't want to go into that stuff, 2000 and God knows, 2013 maybe, I don't know, 2010, I don't know, I don't care, 2013 probably. Instead of giving me a glasses according to prescription I obtained from physician, they, the individual who made glasses for me, used another dioptry for, for the up close distance. Then he would go and they would do even something more stupid. Um, I don't know what was it, but it was... A frame basically that rather than put the after I gave him the original everything to put the glasses inside in the frame he would go and put the glasses inside uh, by just basically going and cutting the glasses reducing the side of the glasses just like out of eye ignored all this factory specifications and have even hammered frames so that the whole thing hold glasses i mean this is crazy this is sick shit but okay this stuff was done to me in poland this is a second pair of glasses that destroyed me these are brand new glasses i got i bought them from aliexpress really good glasses and they destroyed them out of pure evil uh because i bought my own glasses and they demanded a soon upon and that's why they destroyed them these things and because I was brought here and humiliated that this is what you go, you, I just got brand new glasses and I find myself inside of this room with people telling me that I'm going to have to replace this and say, how the fuck am I going to replace? What is this? And I had a new glasses at the time I bought. Yeah, so I was hijacked again. And so they did. They put some kind of chemical, whatever they did, and this thing's just fell off that was it and so i'm left with this it hurts when i wear them but because of anger i continue to have because i refuse to acknowledge what mother leaves me daily on on a table like ad from glasses that i have to go and buy another glasses you know she's they bully like this now uh, uh, I have video recorded stuff I have with me. It doesn't matter. That's another video. This is this all through. This is another video because they want me to go mommy, mommy, mommy. And it's got to do with these people here from Buckingham Palace. These people are criminals. And they're using mommy basically like an issue. So I wouldn't be able to get to them. You understand? It's a mommy, basically. Psychiatrists from Ljubljana Polia, from the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polia, use mommy shit to get to me. They did. And they continue to use mommy issue, and they destroy shit, so I would be on a mommy. And they don't allow to work, and they don't do stuff like this, so I wouldn't go about my business. So I wouldn't take self-determination, but they continue to destroy every path in my life. You get this and this video is because and i'm really using the words that some other people have placed in my mouth right now this video is because some people some mentally ill people and they told me to use this language some mentally ill people just insist on my hating them you understand this video is because some mentally ill people demand for me to be angry at them to put it in a proper title this video now what i wanted to add to this video here is something else this is a very modest room this room this is a small room this is a room size by, I don't know, 3 by 4 meter, maybe 13, 14 square meter room is this thing. That's my bed right there, and it's on the top of that thing. But every, every little inch here is used. 
to my advantage. And I have to clean this shit every day. Because it's just too small, this stuff. Or at least I try. Okay, there's, there's a, a car tires right there. Look. If it was dirty earlier, if it looked dirty, if this is what they wanted to accomplish, accomplish to this radiation meter, if you remember, because I couldn't set one back to zero, actually to a normal field, but it would just go crazy, crazy, crazy. I want to thank them, because they have proven beyond a doubt that at night time, the, uh, the telephone alone, because it was Wi-Fi connected, can be triggered and emits radiation that's one of the things because you were able to see that i left the telephone down like this and the telephone still kept going down 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 like crazy okay that means only one thing because there was no source in a bathroom that would have any kind that would transmit any kind of electromagnetic frequency that only means that the telephone was controlled through the wi-fi so what they told me they're going to be doing, that they're going to use even the phones to trigger radiation. This shit is actually real. That's one of the things why I'm, I'm going to leave just the way it is. I know it might be dirty in a room, whatever it is. But this is a second reason to the main reason. Because I don't live in a luxury like these people over there in London. I am just living a modest life. This is really, this room is nothing special. This is just a regular room. Yeah, this is just after I completed that video. The same day, the same shit, the same thing. But it's somewhat enough clean for me to get by. Because the idea here that these people don't understand. Oh, look at this one. These are vitamins. These are vitamins the same as this thing here. Except that I removed the film from them. I wash them to get the film off and then I consume them. But the thing about it is they really are toxic when you are with my medical condition. So you have to take them because I do have a deficiency of magnesium. I take them. These are not even from magnesium, but anyhow, they do have something little in it. I take them from now on, I should say I will, because I prepared this this morning. When I go for a walk, when I go moving, that's also what I was taught you're going to be doing. Because otherwise, they're too toxic. Alkaline, really, they are. They really are. That's just the way it is. But other than that, there is nothing really unusual here about this stuff. When you go exercise and you go and you walk far, you go for five, six hours of exercise per day, they told me, we're going to rate your stress according to the strength to the as much as you can walk and exercise it's true because if i wouldn't exercise i would be dead psychologically these people would kill me suffocate me choke me with the issues they pumped me up under mk ultra because this was not mk ultra this was torture this is foremost physical torture and this physical torture is a real contrast of what went on in reality now, in what went on under MKUltra in respect to diseases. This stuff, because they steal me, not because I would lose them, only comps. And so what I do is I simply split this stuff and put this and it fits me in a pocket and I, it lasts me a longer, whatever. So there's nothing really so unusual. It might look unusual, the stuff that you see, but actually really is just a regular small room. It's not even so messed up that these people came to conclusion they would want to present. Might be a lot of stuff here, but this stuff is all in ordinance here. It's all set here, if you pay close attention to it. Equal here. It's just a lot of stuff. That's all there is to it. But other than that, this is not so disarrayed place, you know. Like, if you got 
a wrong idea about that video um let me correct this for you because this is actually video recorded right after i completed you can see the video timestamp you can see everything it's really nothing so out of ordinance here everything is actually quite properly set you know so i don't know i don't have a time and i don't have a people i don't measure my day according to a calories i order a cook of mine to prepare food for me i go about survival here that's the idea that's what i'm trying to tell you about also about this stuff here that happened I'm not trying to apologize, I'm just trying to rationalize, let's say, what might be disturbing to some other people. If you had somebody walking inside, uh, constantly giving you a hard time, this is just what I pick up when I go for a walk. It's actually really everything in quite ordinance the way it should be. And these are and these are just the shoes pairs of shoes old shoes that people would probably throw away but what i do is i clean them up so they almost look cleanliness wise as new and i use them whatever whenever i have to use these old shoes and that's all there is to it nothing so crazy nothing so out of uh normal here really to report to you Nothing so unusual, really, about this stuff. But yeah, I don't have my cooks, I don't have my palaces, I don't have my houses, luxury, money to sit on. These people I told you about, these people suspended, they did not suspend it. But they suspended my right to even receive donations. From PayPal, from Patreon, they suspended, they destroyed me. Any opportunity to earn money through the internet based on views on youtube on daily motion on all video channels there is and they censored this they take away credibility from me by claiming that i have no views and all kinds of stuff like this this buckingham palace people they're nothing so special damn special about these people these people are no good people Now, when I mentioned to you about issue about the mommy, there's one thing I told this Buckingham Palace people from London, I told them, and that's the number one reason why I let that stuff just hang in there in that video. You can go and see it and see my disarray in this room, whatever. I got to treat myself anyhow. I told them like this, by what you're going to remember me, and I told others too, by what you're going to remember me. It's not that I would want these people, that I would have anything against these people. These people are mentally ill people that want, demand, through the use of violence, for me to hate them. I told them like this, I told them. And I demonstrated it because they realized that sometimes I did stuff that would be rather self-impeaching, self-damaging. Because I'm just very much an artificial person. I don't give a, excuse me, shit about what you think about my language. I apologize to my English teacher, uh, Mrs. Golovich, that regularly meets me over there at, at Tershkagora and she told me on the MTO that I have to be really careful with the language uh, if I want any kind of support from her. She is one of my viewers. I want to say hello to her. But with exception of her, I don't really care what anybody thinks about how I express myself and uh, 
sometimes I, I even did, I remember, stuff deliberately to look stupid because I wanted to give you a go. Don't you understand? I want you to get as much as credibility as possible based on your lies so I can tear you apart more. Maybe it's going to take longer, but you're going to be the one who's going to regret eventually. And I told him this under MK Ultra that I am like this. That if you need, if you want to be, if you want to be my bully, and you need some advantage, you need some, I don't know how you say that in English language, go, I'll give you. Not seconds, minutes, whatever it's necessary to make you feel comfortable. But you're going to be sorry. And that's why, basically, that stuff too is just going to stay just the way it is. I don't care. All right, today is, you can see the date, March 22nd, 2022. That's all I wanted to make the case out of, like for this part number two. Is you can claim something you can pretend not to see. You can, you can face whatever direction you want. But eventually, it's an old saying, all the roads... That's from the Roman Empire, when the Roman Empire was still on. All the roads lead to only one place, Rome. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.